Okay, today is July the 20th, 2016, and right now at 10.40 p.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a barometric pressure of 30 inches even, temperature is 76 degrees, the relative humidity is 27%, and the, uh, <clears throat> the dew point is 40 degrees. All right, so we had a high temperature of right around 100 degrees. It was 99, 100, somewhere right between that. Uh, those two points it was a it just depending on where you were but uh, where i was it was 99 degrees and uh, very dry uh well it actually I take that back it started to get muggy during the day because there was a large bank of clouds that started moving in from hurricane or rather tropical storm estelle right here so we had chemtrails mixed with all this tropical moisture moving into southern california we saw that about 11 a.m starting to move in and that changed the weather pattern. It started to get kind of muggy in the afternoon. Um, and uh, but we have we have this flow moving right from uh, still right into Southern California. No rain. We also have uh, a lot of uh, thunderstorms right here along the Colorado River being blown apart. We can take a look at that in uh, some of these other maps. Let's go over here real quick and take a look at the uh, Western U.S. and we can get a better view of what's going on here. Uh, very dry conditions in California. We have monsoonal flow right here. Uh, all of these storms are being blown apart right near the Colorado River and also right offshore of Southern California. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Here's the infrared loop showing all this uh, clockwise activity. Clockwise uh, spinning uh, uh, activity. We have a transmitter right here. Let's go back and take a look at the East Coast real quick right here now we were told that an area of high pressure would move out to the west <clears throat> and uh but actually what's happening here is that we have high pressure installed right here to wind all this uh thunderstorm activity away from california but let's go back and take another look now at the uh, the big map on the west coast the east pacific map now that we've seen what's happened here this is very strong high pressure that was engineered to pull all this back around away from California. Now let's go back and look at the big map here. We can see that if this was not here, this high pressure that was installed right near Texas, these storms would be moving right into Nevada and California and bringing a lot of rain coupled with this northbound uh, flow from a tropical storm Estelle. So the, the weather reports that we're getting right uh, last night are, are just BS. What's actually happened is that we have a transmitter right through here that's plowed a path of high pressure. We can see all the violent thunderstorm activity right where the RF is focused, right here. This is the leading edge of that big path. It's just been plowed right through California, Nevada, Idaho, Montana. And when the RF, that is the radio frequency energy, is uh, forced into this thunderstorm activity, it amplifies it. And that's why we're seeing this very severe area of uh, weather right here and that's right where the the path is is continuing to be uh, plowed for lack of a better term we can see that there's a big gap here this is all high pressure this is a clearing it's been engineered to separate this moisture field this this uh, uh, monsoonal moisture field right here from this trough of low pressure which is dropping down we can see multiple vortexes in this uh, area right here. There's three of them right here that I can see. There's a, another one right here that has a transmitter on it right there. That one. And then there's another one right here. So there's about five or six right in this immediate area. And the pressure maps, this is shown as a big trough at uh, 500 millibar and 300. That should be dropping right on down. But that's not going to happen. And we can see why. Because this area right here has been bulldozed. This is a high pressure zone that's been installed. And that will block What's going on here? We can see already the effect. We have a semicircular uh, area of low pressure right here. We can see that uh, the outflow from the transmitter, uh, which is counteracting all this uh, counterclockwise activity. But look what's happening right here where this, uh, this uh, transmitter plowed a path. We can see a little bit of distortion in this uh, area right here. But the big the point is, is it's obvious what they've done here. They've told us a story on television that uh, high pressure will be moving uh, 
west, which is that that in and of itself is not natural. All weather under normal operating conditions moves in the northern hemisphere from west to east, and that's what that is what we should be seeing here. Everything moving to the east. All right, but uh, we don't have natural weather. We have a bunch of sociopath uh, terrorists running our uh, controlling our weather, and that's that's a fact. These people are terrorists. And uh, this tonight is another episode of of uh, why California is not getting any kind of rain. Let's look at some of these other maps. Look at the uh, magenta, the pink color all through here. That indicates very dry conditions right down here on the far left end of the scale. Okay, dry conditions, very dry down here. That's what we're seeing over here. None of this weather is getting over the Colorado River. We'll take a look. Uh, let's come back to those later. Let's go look at the uh, southwest. Uh, uh, water vapor map right here. Now, two things. Notice what's happening right here. This is a big thunderstorm cell completely blown apart. We can actually see the the blast wave right there. Let's stop this and look at that. Okay, so we've got a thunderstorm developing right here. It would. Uh... Okay, now let's scroll through. Right here, there's a blast up, up further, sort of out of view. We can see the blast pattern right there. And let's keep going forward, and we'll see a, a, a circular blast wave emerge out of all this activity right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually very light right here, that outflow. And now it just crossed over the border. It's right there. We go back and forth on this. We can kind of... It just passed over the border. There it is right there. Let's go back a couple of steps. All right, so that's that. Anyway, the point is, is that uh, nothing is getting into California. Now look over here. Now this flow here is moving in from uh, Tropical Storm Estelle. We have a north northeast flow right into Southern California from that storm, and nothing is getting in. We have transmitters on uh, San Nicolas Island and on San Clemente Island. Uh, we have uh, big giant radomes that uh, house flat panel arrays, which beam microwave, phased array microwave, into the skies. They pan and tilt, uh, much like the, uh, I think it's called the SBX, that floating uh, giant microwave uh, platform, uh, phased array. Same thing on these islands. If you look at these at, uh, on uh, Google Earth, zoom down, you'll see several, seven or eight of these golf ball uh, type radomes on each of these two islands, San Clemente and uh, San, Nic San Nicolas Island. These are both military islands, no public allowed. Can't get there, can't get closer than I think 100 yards to the shoreline. <clears throat> All right, let's run this loop. Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, now this is the telltale. Here's the rainbow loop. Here's where we see all the, the, uh, What's going on here? We have all of, all of this uh, weather right here is just dissipating as it moves into Southern California. We can see that there's very little getting into Southern California. It all dissipates and same thing here. That's that big thunderstorm that has been blasted apart. All right, let's go back and take a look at the, uh, okay, here we have the uh, visible light loop. We can see this a big thunderstorm cell down here being completely blown apart. It's Photoshopped. On the first few frames, and then we see the blast pattern and the shock wave. You see that shock wave moving out of the east side and the west side. And they're trying to hide their work with a very crude photoshopping uh, grid pattern overlay. That is really crappy work. Okay, here's the uh, East Pacific. We can see that uh, this is Darby, uh, this is Estelle, and then we have two. New disturbances. This one over here has a 60% chance of hurricane formation. And this guy over here is 30%. Uh, now Estelle is generating 65 mile per hour winds. This is moving about uh, due west at about 13 miles per hour. Uh, Darby is moving at 14 miles per hour to the west. And this storm has, I think, 50, 50 mile per hour winds. All right. Here's the, uh, the IR map. 
I have a pretty good video I made this morning. I have not uploaded it yet, showing uh, uh, some really good blast pattern evidence occurring right near the uh, central Central American coast in the uh, eastern East Pacific. Here's the jet stream map. We can see some flow moving through uh, the uh, northwest. Now let's take a look at the, uh, we saw the east coast, but we can take another look. This is the cause of, this is helping to uh, keep the rain out of California with all this activity here. All right. This is the hurricane map. We talked about these disturbances. This is a 60% chance. We've got 30% chance here, and then we have a still 65 mile per hour winds. All right. Uh, here is the, uh, we can see the chemtrails here in the uh, SSEC water vapor map. This moisture shield moving towards California was completely chemtrailed. We can see a lot of that activity all through here. Chemtrails being sprayed on their way into Southern, Calif Southern California. And then we have, look at all these storms here. Nothing's getting into California. It's all stopped right there at the Colorado River. I just, uh, it's amazing that our politicians that the people running the state of California cannot look at these maps and figure things out. It's amazing that they cannot figure things out. And that is because not, a lot of these people, most of them don't have any scientific background. They don't have any scientific education. And that, that has to change because technology right now has been changing so fast so fast that there's it's hard for for somebody in the know to uh, keep track and keep up with it now take a look at this system right down here look at the blast pattern on that on that system shock waves moving out of the side of that one right here look at that that is amazing so the problem is we need more engineering and scientific minds in the business of politics and uh, th that that by itself would stop what's going on here. These people wouldn't be able to get away with that. They wouldn't be able to get away with what, what they're getting away with. Okay. Problem is these politicians have, are, are buying propaganda uh, from globalist, from global interests. Uh, that uh, Climate change is, is a naturally occurring phenomenon that occurs every uh, so often. And that uh, if we all pitch together and, Come together and pay our taxes. Uh, somehow this will uh, this will all stop. We can we can uh, manage global warming and climate change if we just all pay our taxes and, and and behave like good little people. Meanwhile, we've got terrorists that have stopped our rain right here, and this is happening all the time, every day, pretty much. All right, here's the pressure maps. Here we have. Sea level pressure map, we have low pressure right here. We can see that high pressure out here. We have some low pressure right over the uh, uh, in northern Mexico. Let's take a look at the 500 millibar map. We can see a uh, trough of low pressure moving down. This is that uh, this is being blocked by all that, that uh, clearing that's been plowed through the uh, northwest. We have high pressure all through here. It's winding all this weather away from California. And look at these returns at the uh, 500 millibar level. This is proof of uh, these transmitters working to blow apart storms right along the Colorado River, which is right in this area. What a coincidence. Yeah, what a coincidence. Okay, here's the 300 millibar map. We have that huge trough, low pressure. This should be moving uh, to the east and right on through. Under normal operating conditions, all the weather moves from the uh, uh, from the west to the east in the northern hemisphere. But this thing here has been parked, and this this is supposed to move uh, out to the west. But I don't think that's going to happen uh, sooner. It's not going to happen sooner rather than later. It'll be happening later because of of uh, what's happening here. We've got too many monsoonal thunderstorms. If they move this out to the west, that's going to push all this into California. So this is going to remain stationary, and uh, that's the way it'll be for, for now. All right, I'm going to leave it here, and we will do another update tomorrow.